is that John, when I was a kid, I used to dream of being in show business. The problem with that is I was living in Phoenix. <laughs> it wasn't easy to break into Hollywood movies being in Phoenix, Arizona. But uh, my father was living in LA, my mother was living in Phoenix, and I ended up getting him to, to bring me out there. And, and uh, I remember they were filming chips on my block at the time. And I got to watch Punch and Sean ride the motorcycle <laughs> up and down my street. And I remember, thank goodness, if you're going to be an actor, you really have to have this, you have, really have to have the ability to sort of divorce yourself from the odds. And, and I remember thinking, it's only a matter of time before I'm going to be on that motorcycle with Officer Punch Rally. <laughs> and the funny thing was, a few months later, I was uh, walking the dog, and a woman, uh, I was only 10 years old, and a woman and I said, you, you could be an actor. Uh, are you interested in auditioning for a play? But that, I did the play, and somebody from Universal Intelligence spotted me in the play, cast me in a show called Galactica 1980. <laughs> so, uh, does anybody know any, uh, nobody knows that show. Yeah. And uh, oh, that one person back there. <laughs> too. And uh, I was working on Universal as Dr. Z, with Lauren Green and all those guys, and, and sort of, and the, the rest was history. I ended up doing a show several years ago called Andy Richter Controls the Universe. And the guest star in my scene was Eric Estrada. And it's kind of funny how things work out. I, I, I really do believe that if you can focus on things uh, well enough, they tend to happen. I can tell you a quick thing before we do some questions and answers. When, when the audition for, for uh, Supernatural came along, I wasn't really sure what the show was. And then I watched it, I'm like, oh, I know, I know that show. That's the show with the, 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 the tall one. And, the <laughs> and uh, later on I met them, of course, and I realized there's a tall one and there's a skyscraper. <laughs> but, but I really liked the vibe of the show. I also liked that uh, a guy I knew named Mark Shepard was on the show. <laughs> He's a cool guy. I hate to say this because he thinks I have a crush on him. <laughs> he, used to date, he used to date a friend of mine, Penny. And I also did a movie with his dad years and years ago called Gettysburg. And when I moved, I was living in New York at the time, and when I moved to Los Angeles, I needed a ride to my mom's house in San Diego. That's a 120 mile drive. I called Penny to see if she'd drive me. He said, no, but I'll send my boyfriend. <laughs> Mark Shepard showed up at the airport. I didn't, I didn't know Mark at this time. But he still came and picked me up at the airport. And he drove me 120 miles down to my mom's house in San Diego, dropped me out, waved goodbye. And I tell you what, that says a lot about the guy, isn't it? I mean, would you drive 120 miles? You know, to drive somebody you didn't know to their mom's house in San Diego? He's kind, of, he's kind of a giver. So when I saw that he was on the show, I was pretty excited. Remember I read the piece? I get to the audition over at it was at Warner Brothers. And I'm in the waiting room with an actor by the name of Ray Wise. Ray Wise was in a show called Reaper. It's been a lot of stuff. And when I saw him, my heart just sank. Because I said, this guy's awesome. And I know he's perfect. So I thought, what the heck, we're going to see him. We just, we just have to go. I go in. Sarah Gamble's in the other room. And I read for Sarah. And I just had a blast. It was the muffin scene with Mark Shepard's character, right? It was just, this is the, the organic baby, baby you really <laughs> yeah. I would swim through hot garbage, that sort of thing. Or as soon as swim through hot, hot garbage. And I remember I got up and I looked at Sarah and she goes, you are creepy. <laughs> I said, thank you very much. <laughs> I went home and they called me uh, later that day and they said, uh, you know, I hope your passport's uh, ready because we need you up in Vancouver really quick, which is great. Has anybody been to Vancouver? Yeah! A nice part of the world. And anyway, I got up there, Mark was there, and he sort of talked me all about the supernatural stuff, and I got to meet the boys. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have all met the boys though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Turns out I learned that, uh, that uh, Jared, um, Jared's wife, uh, went to school with my sister in Sun Valley, Idaho, so a small world. And now, uh, and now here I am with you guys. So. Thank you very much. So I guess, I only have a limited time, I should probably ask and answer some questions. 